Hi everyone, Kelt here, bringing you part 7 of my new series regarding the Harkles and their children. Rather than digging through the archives again, I've actually got a new photo, well several new photos which have come out, where they are supposed to be celebrating July the 4th. It's almost like the photo of Harry with Lily is a gauntlet being thrown down to all of us that have been talking more lately about the subject of the children. Because let's face it, there were so many obvious things in our faces, so of course we were going to question things. Um, thinking mainly about the red and purple outfit when she was at Birkenhead. Um, you cannot deny the bizarre way that the bump dropped below her knees. Anyway, back to these photos. It's almost like whoever put these out are saying, what are you going to do with this? What are you going to find wrong with this? Because the timing is perfect again. There's always something weird in their photos, and I've also been reading the comments that others have made. I'm trying not to dig too deep into these photos, because I think that you can always find something that doesn't look quite right. So I'm trying to just go by my instinctive first impression. So one picture in particular of Harry carrying Lily with one arm. In some photos, her face is pixeled out. In others, it's not. And as someone said, her profile does look quite a bit like Thomas Markle Sr. Things that people have said about this photo are not necessarily what I believe, but I'll point them out and tell you what I think. One was that Harry's shirt was, was two different colours, with the body of the shirt being grey and the sleeve green. I think it varies in several photos. I think it was the light. I don't think there would be any reason for it unless it was photoshopped. Yes, it could be two different pictures. But to me, it looks like a sort of khaki green that can look maybe a little grey in the shade. Some are also saying that the little girl's shoes are odd. I see nothing odd about the shoes. I think it's just the angles. Others are saying that it couldn't have been anything more than Photoshop because of the clothes they're wearing when it was a warm day and most people were in sleeveless or short sleeve clothing. But I'm not sure on that because Harry does have his sleeves rolled up and whereas the socks might be too warm, the dress looks cool enough as it's loose. Another thing is we know from past experience that Meghan has never dressed according to the weather and I don't think that she would dress children according to the weather. Saying that he wouldn't be carrying her that high, that she would be on his hip, I don't necessarily agree with that one either, because she doesn't look like a particularly heavy child, and I think it is possible for someone with reasonable strength to carry a child at that height for a pe short period of time. The one thing that I do agree with is that there seems to be, in one of the photos, a lump sticking out of her head, it's sort of square, so either there's something behind her that is shaped like a lighter coloured square, or she has a lump on her head, which I would doubt, especially being that shape. So it points to it being photoshopped, that part of it anyway. The only other reason something would be that shape would mean if there was something between her and Harry, because it was between her face and Harry's face, so it wouldn't be somebody in the background. So yes, I, I noticed that. The other thing I noticed was that Harry's eyes behind his shades did look not like him. But that's it. Others were saying that the lip, his top lip, was a bit pouty and not like Harry's. But I think that's just caught in movement and just an expression, so I doubt that. So regarding the picture, the only thing I can see wrong with it is this strange square between Lily's forehead and Harry, and the fact that it just doesn't have the look of Harry when you look into the sunglasses at his eyes. The other thing regarding the photo of them from a distance, where it looks to be Meghan also crouching down with Lily and Harry and supposedly Archie standing there, there are many comments about that, about Archie looking too small as if he hasn't grown much think that could be reaching as well, but there are no close-up photos, interestingly, of him. 
My queries regarding this photo is basically just one query, and that is why are they always blurred? I don't think anyone has a camera on their phone that is that bad nowadays. Not unless it's some really elderly person who doesn't know, who hasn't progressed from the basic phone, and who doesn't know how to use it. There's no reason for that photo to be so blurred. Another thing I question is that it's strange to be posting these when they are reported to have split up. And also Harry was still supposed to be in some sort of medical facility receiving treatments, so I heard. So he's not likely to be out in public right after something like that. So on the strength of that, I would say that it's probably photoshopped, but purely because of the child's forehead. If somebody can find out what that is and debunk that, a lump that square and that large looks pretty serious, so I would say it's more likely to be Photoshop. Another thing which I forgot to mention is that it was pointed out, and quite a few were saying, that her hair was blowing quite significantly as if it was windy, and nobody else's was, so another reason for possible Photoshop. I'm not sure on that one. I haven't had a good enough look at other photos. I will. But yes, it did look as if her, her hair was the only hair blowing. Um, could it have been a random breeze? Or is her hair, does her hair weigh lighter than anybody else's? There's no end to how much we can dig into this. Regardless of this, I think that the question is not if there are children, which there obviously are, but whose they are. And there will always be queries regarding the line of succession and the probable use of a surrogate. For most of us, it's the fact that we don't want to be continually lied to over something so important as the line of succession to the British throne. For many people, this is still very important for them, which I think is fair enough. And I think to question this is not a big deal. But I think analysing every photo and digging so deep that we have got to be so careful not to be looking at every anomaly in every photo because I'm pretty sure that we could look at photos of Catherine and William and their children and find some sort of anomalies. Having said that, I do think that we are being spun a load of photoshopped photos. We have been over the years of the Sussex family. I do believe that and I do I think it's obvious that there have been but I also feel that we've got to be careful not to assume that every single photo is photoshopped the question is more who are these people as far as I'm concerned it's not so much the photoshop it's more who are these people and why are they doing this so let me have your thoughts on it and I'll see you in the next one <laughs>